In this video I'm going to demonstrate a man-in-the-middle attack known as session hijacking and show you how that even though a website may use HTTPS or SSL or TLS to secure its pages that the information on them isn't always necessarily secure. And the problem here starts when websites don't use HTTPS to protect all of their pages. Now as you can see here this page has been loaded over HTTP and you may argue that whilst there's no private or sensitive information on here it doesn't actually need to be encrypted but as you navigate towards the signing page we are now using HTTPS so this page is protected now I'm just going to log in here and show you that all of the account pages are using HTTPS and that when I'm viewing any sensitive information that we are in fact secure now the problem starts when I navigate away from the account section of the website to any other page on the site and we revert back to HTTP but you can see that we are still authenticated here now, as these packets are broadcast over HTTP, it means that they're vulnerable to a man-in-the-middle attack because they aren't encrypted. So what I'm going to demonstrate here with a program called Wireshark is how you can listen in and sniff those packets because they're being broadcast over HTTP and that the information inside them is not encrypted. So you can see here the get request for the account page that I've just sent. I've navigated to the account page here and this is the request. Now because this packet is not encrypted, it means that I can look at all the information inside it. And what I'm looking for in specific is the session ID. Now every time you request a page on the website, it doesn't submit your username and password, it submits a session ID. Now when you log in, the server gives you a session ID that it uses to verify that you are who you say you are. So what we can do now is copy the session ID of the user that is currently logged in. Now, to prove that there's no cheating going on here, I have a different browser set up. And in that browser, I have a cookie manager. So you can see here that we've got no cookies for the Ribble Valley Borough Council website. If I navigate to the site, we aren't logged in, we're not signed in at all, and that the cookies have now been generated. Now, if I take the session ID that I stole from the other session and paste that here, what I can now do is refresh the page and submit that session ID and the server now believes that I am the user from this browser who's logged in except this is the attacker's browser and he's now logged in. Now the fact that I've sniffed these packets off my own computer doesn't really change anything at all. This could have been done on the local network, on the Wi-Fi, it could have been an ISP or any gateway. At any point between your computer and the server hosting this website, this packet could have been sniffed because it was sent over HTTP, its contents were not encrypted, and that has allowed me to take the session ID and paste it into this browser. And this just isn't for access to this page. I can now do anything that I could do whilst I'm logged in. So I can go and view personal information and take anything that I like here. And worst of all is that the victim, who's still logged in, can still do everything that they want to do and are none the wiser that they've been compromised. And this all stems from not having HTTPS protection on pages that you can visit whilst you are still authenticated to the website.